okay so it's finally finished i believe that uh, how fast how long it takes depends on your internet connection and how fast your processor is this is i'm running this on a very old computer so maybe i mean seems like it takes forever but anyway now we have uh, everything you need we need to compile c code i believe that installs a bunch of things yeah. right gcc i believe those make uh, right and uh, i think there's also what is it g plus plus a bunch of things so anyway uh, the only one i'm interested in really is uh, gcc okay so now a little test uh, I have this program here. It's called n.c. It determines the endianness of your machine. So here on, on my on my Intel machine, I'm just gonna compile and run this. We'll see what happens. Ah, see, little Indian, endian. Right. Now, I'm gonna do this this kind of a how do I transfer this file to my virtual machine? Now I can do it over int the internet because that machine has internet access. So all I really need to do is to put this file on on a basically on a website. And I'm gonna use Dropbox for that. If you have Dropbox, so just I'm gonna save it in the in the public folder of my Drop Dropbox. Excuse me. Right, as long as yeah, right. So you go to your Dropbox folder, the public, just save it in there. Okay, I already have it in there, overwrite, yes. Okay, where is it? Okay, here we are. Right. So th there it is, there's the, the source code file in my public folder. I'm going to right click and then select Dropbox, copy public link. So this gives you the public URL of the website, of, of, of the file you just, you just put in Dropbox. Okay, since I, again I can't paste into the virtual machine, just going to go over here, paste it into this text file. And now, in the virtual machine I can do wget. Uh, okay, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to see where I am first. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna get it into there. Just gonna do wget and then the URL. Okay, so I've typed up that URL and hopefully you're gonna press enter. It's gonna see it went out and it basically downloaded that file. So now it's over here. And now all I have to do is compile this using GCC and see what I get. So GCC minus 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 wall to get a list of warnings. Output file, I'm gonna call it ND Indian. And then the the file name of the source code, I think. E should get a bunch of warnings. Yep, didn't put the int in for the main. That's fine. And then we're gonna run run the first list again. There it is, the Indian. It's gonna run it. And see what's up. Ah, get big Indian. You see the same the same code detects NDNS. So see we are on now on the big Indian machine. Okay, so that's about it. I'm gonna put all the links up and everything on on the YouTube video. A few more things uh, maybe. Uh, in, well we got the the image. You can get a couple of other images actually if this works now. Anyway there's MIPS and all sort of different architectures for, for chemo.
just go to parent directory and you'll see a whole bunch of stuff okay open out <laughs>